intro. Excuse me. What's going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua. Hey, damn. And I'm back with another reading. And my dog's here with me. You hear me? Where my dog's at? We right here, dog. <laughs> I love that intro. Thank you, y'all. All right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Empress. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, Taylor. All right, damn. All right, so I'm getting definitely where my dog's at. We right here, dog. All right. Um. Damn, y'all. It's your girl, Janiqua A. And I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. I feel like your introduction or, you know, your first impression well, how you give people whatever you do as a first, it, it, it's, it's, it's a big, you hear me? It's something different. Archangel Michael, with a leg rub, please protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear on my chakras as we tap in to my everything's energy. And this is going to be current energy. What you should be expecting for this week ahead. All right, so, all righty, all I see is sneaky energy out of here. All right, um, all right, so, somebody was very immature, all right, and they page a swords energy, all right, um, it's giving men. All right, you was dealing with men like this. <laughs> the four of pentacles. All right, a bummed out mindset. All right, looking for a handout, literally. Okay, is what is given. All right, you walked away. You no longer dealing with stuff like that. All right, you prioritizing self-care. All right, priority time. All right, quality time. All right. Eight of cups. All right, walking away from things that is not meeting your expectations when it comes to emotional fulfillment, all right? This person was always hiding their hand, all right? Very sneaky energy, very deceiving energy, all right? Promises not being kept. All right, plans not being kept. All right, the page of swords to the eight of cups. Secrets, a lot of secrets. All right, a lot of things that you didn't know about somebody. All right, that they were intentionally hiding. All right, this could even be friends. All right, this could just be, this could be friends or just people in general that you chose to check out. Um... That's, that you chose to check out from because these people were very sneaky, all right? Very two-faced, very, very wish-washy, all right? Telling half-truth, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the, these people were quick to tell you that people were talking about you. But the real question is, why was they so comfortable talking about me in front of you? You know what I'm saying? Like, the question is, why were these people so comfortable with doing that? You know what I'm saying? So this could be friends, you know, lovers, you know, just a lot of people, family, where you like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this no more. Okay? Literally, always having to find out somebody was in the mix of something. This is gossip. Uh, a lot of people gossiping about you. All right? A lot of you guys... Um, isolated yourself from these um, energies. All right, and for a lot of you guys, it, it, it's kind of fucked up because the eight of cups is, is people that you love. All right, so this was not just people that you didn't give a fuck about. The pe these people that was lying and gossiping and being very sneaky, hiding their hand. All right, um, these are people that you love, but you realize that it was these people was giving you fake love. These people aren't real with you. 
Okay, literally, Eight of Cups, Page of Swords. It's looking like you found yourself, all right? It's looking like you went deeper into, the, into life, all right? Exploring things on your own, all right? Becoming more independent, traveling probably by yourself, and just, you know, getting comfortable with being by yourself for a little while. Because what you was dealing with it was a lot of immature fake, all right? Gossipy bullshit. Very, very immature, catty, you know, third grade energy, for real. Third grade energy. Back, We're not back in high school, you know what I'm saying? Or even public school, you know what I'm saying? For a lot of you guys, this could be that, like, people that you knew for so long um, that still act so immature when it comes to even communication. You know, who talks about people still? When you could just say it in their fucking face. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? The four of wands. Well, here you go. All right. Stability. All right. This is stability. All right. This is being successful in life. All right. This is being able, you know, that's, um, who that is? That's, um, what the fuck is his name? Um, that rock star, uh, it's just giving you, I'm giving rock star lifestyle might not make it. Yeah, you live in, you live in, you live in good right now on your own. The four of wands. All right. You go in the nice places. You, you traveling, um, you figuring out life and you figuring out that is more to life than what you was exposed to. All right, the more you seek is the more you find, okay? And that's the big thing about the Eight of Cups, all right? Keep going, all right? Not stopping. Letting go of things that made you feel guilty for leaving for, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you be wanting to leave relationships, but you just feel guilty, you know, that's, that's releasing that emotion. That's really isn't releasing that mindset. You know, negative thoughts of you not being able to make it on your own. You know, it's fearful. The Eight of Cups is fearful because you're stepping into the unknown. You literally choosing to leave family, friends, relationships, and saying, you know, fuck that. I'm about to go on a journey of, a per, like, a personal journey of self-discovery. Eight of Cups. All right? The Eight of Cups, it deals with emotions, your creativity, you know, spirituality. So a lot of you guys went on a personal journey or you're starting your own personal journey finally um, to do what you like to do, all right? To to figure out what your hobbies, get new hobbies and figure out what sparks your interest. You know, that's the eight of cups. No longer putting all your fucking eggs in one basket and not getting nothing in return. Now you figuring out shit that you like to do. You're not waiting on people no more. All right? Whatever your heart is desiring right now, and as long as it's not, you know, fucking nobody over you doing it. Eight of cups. And sometimes you got to do that by yourself. You know, a lot of you guys are fucking talented, y'all. A lot of you guys are so fucking talented. All right? And y'all be wanting to do mad fun things. All right? Y'all be wanting to do really, really cool and exciting things but it doesn't meet the cool bar to the people that you around all right so you wind up not doing it because you know your friends don't want to do it or they think it's corny the eight of cups is the time in your life where you don't even have that energy around you all right you doing things on your own until you find your people eight of cups all right getting comfortable with being uncomfortable by yourself all right taking walks you know just getting to learn yourself Building a relationship with yourself. We always trying to build a relationship with people and then duck. All right. Once you build a relationship with yourself, your intuition is going to be at an all-time high. You know, your body it starts working for you. You get you regain that control over your mind. You know, that's the that's the best thing we have is a hundred percent complete control over our mind and, and uh the desire uh the the ability, all right, to to bring it to any ends that we desire, all right? Your mind is what manifests things, all right? But if you don't know yourself, 
if you do not build a relationship with yourself and see why you are lacking, all right, and see why you keep attracting certain friends, all right, this is called shadow work. This is called loving you for once. A lot of people don't even know themselves. A lot of people been living so for so long for so many others that they don't even know themselves. They don't really do what they want to do. All right? They follow an agenda. All right? This is you breaking out of the matrix. All right? Saying, I know there's more friends and more people out in the world that is not deceiving, that always a sneaky and gossiping. All right? Very immature. Always speaking about something they don't know too much about. All right? So you went and you took a personal journey. All right? Of discovery. And you started to find stuff that you enjoy. All right? You started to find sacredness and being by yourself instead of calling it lonely. You know what I'm saying? You started to sit with yourself and understand that you are really cool and that you don't have to settle. But if you do not know who you are and if you don't learn who you are, all right, you will think that you have, you are somebody that you're not. All right, this is you, you know, finally, you know, stepping into your own identity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of healing. Okay, a lot of realizing how big the world is, all right, and how small your mindset was, all right, and now you go to four ones. The four ones is literally being in a stable place of happiness, security, and finding what you were seeking. You know, a lot of guys might not have a relationship, but you live a life, all right, you living like a rock star, all right, you rather be crying in a motherfucking Benz than a motherfucking Honda. Right? Fuck. God never said we ain't gonna get sad. But bitch, all right, let your paper talk. All right, the best revenge is your paper. All right, every fucking stone that they threw at you, you kept. You know why? Because you had castles to build. The four of wands is a strong ass foundation. Luxurious cause, all right? Security, stability, all right? Prosperity. Okay, a set and strong foundation. All right, literally set in life. All right, so every stone that they threw at you and tried to hide their hand, all right, you caught it and you built motherfucking castles with it. Fuck they threw it. All right, fuck they threw it. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Bitch, you gotta come harder. And when they start to throw those stones, okay. You started to catch them shits. All right? And that's how you built your fucking castles. All right? You are you are empresses and empress out here. All right? Building empires from the same stones that were stoned at you. Let's talk about it, baby. All right? Let's talk about it. All right? But certain things call for you to stand alone sometimes. All right? It's rather, it's best to stand alone and figure out why you're feeling lonely than being around false-ass people, all right? That's always hiding their hand but doing shit to you. Okay? Literally. This is not back in, in, in the old age where people get stoned for, for saying the truth, bitch. All right? Literally, every stone that they threw at you and tried to hide their hand, you caught it and you built your fucking castles with it, all right? We are builders over here, okay? We are victors over here. Spirit, give me more of this energy, please, and thank you. So whatever that they thought was gonna be, all right, your demise was actually, all right, your blessing. Look, bitch, building towers, building motherfucking empires, all right, building castles. The Ten of Pentacles is, you get no richer, bitch. This is rich in life. This is rich in love, all right? You're not thinking about, you know, the things that you have, the material things that you have, it's more where it came from, all right? Certain things are just gifted to you in the Ten of Pentacles, all right? You set in life. This is you reaching a pinnacle in status and a lifestyle, all right, that everybody dream about. All right, and it take hard work. It take learning where you was lacking in money, building, 
a different relationship with money and finances and your resources, all right? Building healthy bonds with people that has resources, all right? Because that's how you get deals, all right? It's not really what you know, it's who you know, all right? And if you know, if you, and, 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 and if you're very small on what you know, all right, that's an added bonus, all right? So you in a Ten of Pentacles energy, this is an empire built. This is a legacy formed. All right. This is you thriving in your success. All right. This is your family values. All right. Being compatible with your work and all this. Spending the same time, you know, equal amount of time, you know, and prioritizing your time very wisely. This is retiring energy. All right. Working hard. All right. For a certain amount of time in your life so that way you don't have to work hard no more. All right, life wasn't always just about working. All right, we are kings and queens and empresses and empresses out here. All right, we we was born luxurious. All right, our ancestors all was not poor. All right, fuck. And if they were, the only reason why they was because they didn't have the resources. All right, to act on their talents and gifts, and that's why it's passed down to us. All right, you done took a talent, a gift. All right, uh. uh whatever all right and you turned it into a household name you turned it in, into a legacy whatever you're doing for your career all right will last eons all right your children children will know about you all right with the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is leaving back all right knowledge and history on how you made money how talented you are that's the thing that goes in the ten of pentacles not just money it's a peace of mind, all right? It's, it's having all bills paid. It's being able to buy certain things and, and not, be, not it be a, a, a liability, all right? Best to believe if you got a nice car and a ten of pentacles, that shit paid off, all right? That shit is just a, 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 a toy right now. You know what I'm saying? You no longer investing into things that is not bringing you back a profit, all right? You, know, you, you, you learned how to, you've mastered the art of investing, all right, so the Ten of Pentacles is, is like sold. I'm hearing sold, like Jeopardy, so done. All right, this is a life you made for yourself because you had to walk away from the people that was throwing stones at you. It's like, how you throwing stones at a glass house? All right, but guess who got the glass house now? You do, because you ain't got to worry about, you know, you, you, you true. You transparent, bitch. You hear me? These people had a lot of shit. And baggage around them. All right. So it will be easier. All right. To put you down and hide their hand. All right. As if you needed these people. You had to learn life by yourself. You had to knew what you was getting by yourself. See what was going on is these people could not go where you going. These people were not shooting with you in a gym. Y'all. Y'all are in a ten of pentacles y'all. These people was not supposed to go here. They weren't supposed to be going to your crib like this. They weren't supposed to be seeing your new house like this. They weren't, supposed to, they weren't supposed to be crying with you in the motherfucking bins. Going to get donuts, bitch. All right, they settled. All right, these people had no morals. These people had no integrity. All right, these people had no common sense. All right, common sense ain't too motherfucking common in folks nowadays. All right? And sometimes you got to see shit for what it is. Now you're seeing people for who they are and you can't even be mad because they showed you already. All right? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool, no, fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. All right? You seeing for... You finally accepting these people for what it is. These people were never on your side. They just wanted to be on your side because they knew this was coming. All right, you gonna have a double motherfucking car garage, you hear me? Shit moving for you. All right, you got your hands in so many passive incomes. Now you got the money working for you. Now you can help other people because you are finally in a position of leadership. Fuck you doing in this world if you're not trying to be in a position of leadership to help your people. Fuck. What you doing then? You know what they doing? And the page of swords energy, acting like they back in motherfucking high school. All right, half of them not even fucking graduated. They fucking don't know how to motherfucking read. 
You hear me? Half of them dumb as fuck, and we gotta call it how we see it because we I'm not tolerating it no more. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Still back in high school. All right. Need to be invested in a motherfucking GAD or something. All right, and stop trying to lie their way to the motherfucking top. My motherfucking dog growing up. All right. They're fucking sick to their stomach. All right. That every motherfucking stone they threw, you caught it, you were wise enough not to throw it back. All right. But to build your motherfucking castle, tell me that ain't divine. Tell me that ain't the art of transmutation. Tell me that ain't an alchemist. You had every chance to throw that fucking stone back in that glass house. All right. But you let go and you let God. Because the best revenge is your paper. The best revenge is you shitting on people with your stability. Fuck. You gonna argue for. So you could have threw the stones back. But we not in fucking high school. We not in public school. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what I could do with these stones that keep being thrown at me. All right. And just even off that type of thinking, bitch. Just even off the intentions of you wanting to go harder because people keep attacking you. Like you don't want to keep doing people how they do you. You want to just level up. Oh, every time they put you down, God kept rising you 10 times up, bitch. You just had to know to get these people out of here. You had, it was like you were saving these people. It was like you wanted them so bad. To come experience the Ten of Pentacles with you. You wanted them to do it so bad. No. Fuck out of here. Go beat your feet. Thirsty as hell. All right. And need a bucket of water. All right. Drown it. Okay. So, yeah. Y'all. You alchemize this whole shit. You start to realize, what am I going to do? I can't keep getting sad. All right. I'm going to remove myself from these people. And I'm going to observe them. I'm going to observe everything that they've done so I can know how to move around that. How can, you, how can, I, use it as, how can I utilize that to my advantage? All right? Because if we keep going tick for tat, bitch, the energy is just, the energy never dies. It fluctuates. So how are you turning this energy into positive energy instead of keep sending it out by doing shit tick for tat? All right? Oh, I know. Instead of throwing those, those stones back, because they house is already busted. They don't even got a house. Okay. Let me see which way they coming. Let me observe them. Let me stop reacting and watch them. So I can really, really, you know, see they moves. And I can move better. You hear me? Eight of cups. And you know how you do that? You start saying, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to take myself out for ice cream. I'm going to do all the shit that I wanted to do with other people that didn't want. I'm going to do that. And when you start feeling better about yourself, bitch, you don't give a fuck about these hoes. You hear me? You over here crying about other shit, bitch. I cry about um, what color am I going to get? I don't want to get white no more on my toes, bitch. All right, we have another problem. Oh, my gosh. I told my boyfriend that I didn't want a Birkin bag, and he bought me two. Bitch. You crying. Oh, we, we crying. And our Ten of Pentacles because our friend just opened up their own business, and we are so proud of them. You know why? Because happy hoes ain't hating, and hating hoes ain't happy. And a happy hoes is sitting in a Ten of Pentacles. Why the... Hating hoes and still acting like they back in high school looking mad dumb. All right, so they just, these people just simply wasn't supposed to be going where you're going. All right, and now you're in a ten of pentacles. Four of wands. This shit is sturdy. This shit is solidified. All right, two car garage me, please, bitch. Thank you. All right. You and your kingdom spouse. Look. Your career is poised, all right? You strengthen your connection and your character, all right? You stop focusing on what you didn't have control over and you focus more on what you do have control over and that's your, that's your career. 
That's the industry that you're in. All right? That's that's being comfortable with being uncomfortable in a certain position. Getting comfortable with being uncomfortable in certain positions, bitch. It's not easy to be a ballerina, but does, doesn't she make it look easy, bitch? All right? Challenging yourself. Challenging your strength when it comes to staying in position, bitch. Never allowing people, all right, to get you off your throne, bitch. We a ballerina over here, all right? The, the, the work that you do, people can't even walk a mile, an uh, uh, inch in your shoes, okay? Let alone a mile. You don't see ballerinas too often, all right? People like you do not come by too often. The work that you do is not seen too often, all right? And you solidified yourself. You done made a name for yourself, all right? You are being talked about. You are being discovered. You are being shown, all right, for your talent, all right, for your performance. You've outdone yourself, all right? Performing very well in a situation, all right, because you got your bread up. All right, you got your family together. All right, you got your family, family. Your, your, your children, children will ever have to, ever have to go through any type of bondages. All right, or generational trauma. The Ten of Pentacles is breaking free from all that, breaking free from lack, poverty, a poverty mindset. Um, uh, people that was not shooting with you in a gym, that was actually throwing stones but acting like they weren't, and expecting to feel fucking entitled. Spirit, why did these people feel entitled? Who is this page of swords? And what did they fucking drink to make them feel entitled? Because you already left them. It was like they all played out. Who, who fucking puts tapes? Who use, who use tapes? All right. These people are outdated. All right, these were outdated people. You been left these people. All right, so the fact that you close out a cycle, the world call is like you no longer being around people. Like the only memory that they have of you is a picture, bitch, or a motherfucking video, ho. All right, that is the only thing that they have left of you. You on to bigger and better things. A lot of you guys moved. A lot of you guys change your change your uh, environment. A lot of you guys are just doing it in life. The reason. Why they tried to throw stones and thought that it was going to fuck up your shit was because you closed out the cycle on them. Like, you, you don't deal with them no more. All right? They are a non-factor in your life. So, to become relevant again, they go and talk about you. To become relevant again, they do something to get their ass more karma for their actions. All right? So, that's why. That's why. Because they feel like they got history with you. Bitch, they feel like, they feel like they knew you once before. Imagine the Ten of Pentacles and a Four of Wands. Somebody rolls Royce in it out, you know, just living lavish. And you over here saying, yo, you know, like, I used to know them. Well, if you used to know them, why you not with them? Why you not with them right now? All right, I hate when people do that. Everybody always say, when you, when you finally make it out the hood, or when you finally do something nice to, like, you know, leave somewhere and make a life for yourself. There's always people that always say stuff. Oh, they did this or they weren't nice or as if you owe them something. Bitch, if we were cool like that, right? If we were cool like that, then you, how, how am I the one that's blessed? If we were cool like that and you, and you know, you know, you hear that these people, you know, once you get a, a certain level of success, you know, People dog you. But you got to really sit back and say, well, if, if that's true, why did God bless them? Why are they happy right now? All right? And being that God bless them and they, they happy right now, why are you not a part of that? Why do I see a lot of other people around them? So they are very questionable acts and questions that you should ask, you know, yourself. When it comes to people feeling salty about being left as a past, in the past, all right? They have outdated ways of thinking. They never wanted to change, all right? And they wanted to stay old. They settled for a certain way. They were already stuck in their ways, all right? All they, like, they didn't want to update anything. 
They're very out. These are very outdated people. All right. So to make themselves relevant, you know what I'm saying? They try to attack you because you're relevant right now. Okay, literally, it's, it's fucked up because a lot of you guys was loving them from afar. The will of fortune, that's why you blessed. A lot of you guys moved on in life, all right? The will has turned and you're no longer in a den, you're on a throne, so you're more happier, all right? Things are making more sense, you're more convenient, you know, you're working on your career, you're working on your money, everything is going good, all right? Finally, karma is coming in, the results of your actions finally are right, so you're not at the, you're, you're not at the lower end of the wheel, all right? So you was loving these people from afar, still showing love, that's how you doing on them, bitch. That's how you do it on them. These people over here trying to become relevant again, again, again and doing it in the most worst way, all right, to make so much karma come onto them and you still loving them from afar. That's how you do, all right? You pray for your haters, all right? You pray for them. You pray for them. And you, you love them from afar because you got to realize they don't know better. All right, if they knew better, they would do better, right? And they don't know better. They really don't know. I don't give a fuck how old you are. All right, so you these are people that you love from afar. These are people that you realize that you cannot deal with. You just had to love them from afar, for real. You are not obligated to be friends with nobody. You're not obligated to be kumbaya with nobody. And you're not obligated to be held back because people don't have certain uh, uh, opportunities. When opportunities come, Bob, all right, you better take them, all right, because I'm hearing with this Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Pentacles, all right, there was an opportunity that you took that don't come by too often, and that was to get up out wherever you was at and elevate, all right, and you chose to take that opportunity and say, you know what, a lot of people might not like what I'm doing, but they didn't like me anyway, fuck. All right, so I'm still loving from the fall. And I, if I miss them, I'm going to crawl my ass in my big ass house. All right? And go eat some ice cream, bitch. But, you know, God never said isn't you not going to miss people. God never said you're not going to miss people that did you dirty because you always was real. You know, you love these people. But you got to realize these people are out. They got an outdated way of thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. These people, yeah, they, they can't, they don't know how to express themselves. You hear me? Ain't nobody got time for that when opportunities come in where we can elevate, bitch. Keep that hating shit over there, but I'm going to still love you from afar. Because when you had a place of success, when shit going right for you, all right, you literally not mad. If somebody mad at you and you in this energy, it doesn't affect you. If it don't apply, let it fly type of shit. These people just try to become relevant. All right, so that's why, like, um... They were outdated. You left these people. They only got memories of you. All right? You out here doing a damn thing, loving them from afar, and they're just trying to be relevant again. And the only way they're going to do that from not looking so outdated and talking about outdated shit, keep bringing up the fucking past, all right, is if they, get in, they don't have magnetism. They can't. They don't have free will. All right? They're not independent. They're not self-reliant. They don't know how to be creative. So what better way to become relevant and get, and get a little bit of attention? See, these people don't give a fuck about what, the, what attention they get. They just want some. They don't even care if it's negative. All right, so what can I do to become relevant again? Because I see everybody forgetting about me. Oh, let me go and bother the person that's getting it right now. And that made them look so stupid. Look, because... Power it up, power it up. Watch it all fall out. And look, King Kong ass people, animals you've been dealing with. All right, these people are so fucking mad. I wouldn't even be surprised if these people don't want to, these people want to fight you. That's how mad. All right, these people are the last man standing wherever the fuck they act. All right, everybody that moved on. They the only people that's acting like that. And you sitting over here pouring it up, bitch. Like fine motherfucking wine. Your glass is all the way filled and you no longer pouring anything into their ass. This is abundance. All right, you live in a whole different lifestyle. All right, a whole different lifestyle. Okay, happy hoes ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. Clear as day, bitch. All right, these people is like, like uh, animals. All right, that need tranquilizers. All right, to stop their bullshit. And the only way they're going to stop 
is every and you know God blesses everybody else around them and leaves them where they at. These are people that's enraged, all right? Enraged because you in front of the camera, all right? You do something in front of the camera or your social media could be fucking lit right now. A lot of people talking about you. A lot of you guys are on just on the scene, all right? Everything is a movie. You hear me? They see you on TV. They see you everywhere. They are pissed. All right, so you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Welcome to your new life. This is your new life. All right, I'm hearing behind the scenes type shit. You hear me? So that's what I see, y'all. Every stone that these outdated people threw at you, you didn't throw back. You caught them and you built your fucking castle with it. All right, congratulations. This is big rewards coming in after big rewards. All right, there's something happening. Where it's a new start, all right. Ace of Wands, all right. A new start where you're directing your life the way it's going because it's unflowing, it's unraveling like that. All right, big blessings to be celebrating. I'm talking about the finest wand, all right. Yes, you're gonna celebrate something, and it might be this castle, bitch. Okay, and if you if you already in it, all right, you probably just you know just celebrating like a big the ten of pentacles is a big ass accomplishment, y'all. All right, so congratulations. All right, with the castle you done built from the stones that was thrown. While this person was trying to hide their hand. Okay, are we fucking loaded? Look, here you go. See, so you were the underdog, all right? Everybody probably called you the black sheep of the family, high priestess, all right? But what fucking people don't know is that the black sheep is the real goats, all right? The black sheep are the real goats. All right, you start to manifest. All right, you started to get the work. All right, you started to channel. All right, you started to heal high priestess. All right, a lot of you guys live a different path than whoever this queen of swords is. All right, but look at her ass hating. You not even looking at her. All right, you're terminating contracts. All right, you probably invested into some form of divination. All right, so your whole body is different. Your whole wave is different. All right, you're not caring about this girl. Look. Queen of Swords, mad as hell. This is the one that was throwing songs. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay, literally. Because they outdated. They are not a factor. They're no longer relevant. They no longer relevant. All right. And they can't interfere with you no more. For a lot of you guys, you back them up through spell work. Bitch, back up. All right? Sometimes you don't, you don't need to fight physically. All right? These people are probably bigger than you. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I'm going to do with a motherfucking key Kong. You hear me? Fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to get into that motherfucking ass. Leave me the fuck alone is what y'all saying. All right? Back the motherfuckers up. And look, headed straight to Hollywood. Bitch, you took every motherfucking stone. You hear me and built that motherfucking castle and in your own lane right now, the full card to the world card. This your new beginning. This starts out the terror deck and this ends it. So being that this came first, you've ended a major cycle in your life. Welcome to Hollywood. You took a leap of faith and you turned your back on them. Look. Mad as hell. Because they didn't have the ideas. You know, the Queen of Swords is supposed to be somebody that is very smart and intelligent and creative and that lives by the truth because that's law. Okay? Literally. But look how they acting. Like a fucking animal. All right? So when you act like an animal, you get treated like one. All right? And we can't fight animals, right? <laughs> all right? Back that person all the way up. The Eight of Swords cannot interfere with nothing. All right? And the love is still genuine. Still loving from a motherfucking fall, all right? Because it's not fucking up nothing. It's not fucking up what God and the universe is pouring into you right now. And it's favor and anointing over your life, all right? And it's because you changed your life, all right, that you tap into generational wealth. It is because you changed your life as the high priestess, all right? And was the underdog, all right? That you have to, you have to, you have to go through the den to get to the throne, all right? So that way you don't do people dirty. 
So now the roles have been switched. All right, this Queen of Swords is in a den. All right, in a den, literally. You know, the cage, a den, can't get out. All right, and you are on the throne right now in the Ten of Pentacles. And so what, you might not look like everybody. So what, you have a different path of faith or belief as the high priestess. All right, you back that fucking animal up. All right, and you want some bigger and better things. This is how God would do. And every time somebody get into this level, there's always somebody, a hater, to say stuff. All right, but how could you be anything other than good and righteous and truth? All right, if you go into Hollywood, all right, if it's power up, power up. Watch it all fall out, all right? If it's lights, camera, action, movie theater, all right? If it's still love from afar, all right? The wheels, uh, the real, the roles have been reversed, all right? Big Empress energy, all right? Ten of Pentacles. What, what can they really say? What, 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 what blessings? What did I do wrong? Because the results of my actions then got me here. Pitch. All right? The cause that was dealt to me, I done played. See, everybody get... A, 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 a dealt hand and it's up to you to play the motherfucking cards right it's up to you these people out here fumbling their own debt fumbling their own hand all right blaming god for the hand that they was dealt how dare you play them shits you hear me so the stones that was through by this queen of swords all right you caught them and you built your fucking castle with it all right, I love you guys, and congratulations on that big deal.